morning, guys and gals. Mr. Hirsch here on this Wednesday morning. I hope everybody's healthy, wealthy, and wise on your end. Uh, today, ladies and gentlemen, I feel bad for you because I feel like I'm a broken record, but we're going to continue working with our inequality uh, systems. Specifically, um, we're still working, making strides when it comes to the systems of inequalities. Um, yeah, two problems in our notes, two problems for homework, pretty steady eddy that way. Uh, and then we'll have this, hopefully have this section wrapped up after today. All right, so without further ado, let's do this thing. Hey, as always, uh, perfect time to pause the video, snag a pen or pencil. Um, let's do this thing. Leo held a garage sale. He priced all the items at a dime or a quarter. His sales totaled less than $5. Okay, so I'm going to call X dimes and Y quarters. Okay, and he totaled less than $5. Notice strictly less than, so that's going to come into play. So I'm going to do 0.10X plus 0.25Y. Now you might say, Mr. Why are you doing that? A dime is 10 cents, a quarter is 25 cents, we're good to go there. And then this is all less than $5, okay? Uh, notice it does ask to graph our inequality. You can do this however you want. Personally, I'm going to solve for y, everybody's different. So I'm gonna subtract uh, 10 cents x from both sides. So we have 0.25y is less than negative 10x plus five dollars. We divide both sides by 0.25. Now you might need a, a your cell phone calculator for that, no judging. We get y is less than negative two fifths x plus twenty. Okay. Now we are good to go. Notice my y-intercept is 20, so that means I'm going to have to go up by twos. If I just go up by ones, unfortunately, I'll never make it. Okay, and then down two over five. Now you might say, but mister, you only went over, or you only went down one. The reason being, guys and gals, is because notice it's going up and down by two. So by going one spot down, we actually went two on the graph. And it will be a strictly less than graph, okay? So that means all of this are possible solutions. Maybe he sold nothing of, of either thing. I hope not for his sake. Hopefully Leo made some money. But find two possible combinations of dimes and quarters that you could have. He could very easily have 10 dimes and one quarter. He could just as easily have one dime and 10 quarters. Okay, all that works. All right, because it's all in this shaded region. The next one's a little more difficult. That's where I want to spend our time. A clothing store has a going out of business sale. They are selling pants for $10.99 and shirts for $4.99. You can spend as much as $45 and want to buy at least one pair of pants, okay? So I'm going to make X the pants, and I'm going to make Y the shirts, okay? So 1099X plus 499Y spend as much as $45. So that's less than or equal to $45. And you want to buy at least one pair of pants. So X is pants, so that must be at least greater than or equal to one. Okay. Graph the system of equalities. I'm gonna label this pants here along the Y axis. X must be greater than or equal to one. That means I'm going to have a line here because this is VUX, vertical, undefined, X equals, and it'll be shaded everywhere over here because I have to buy at least one pair of pants, okay? That means this will be my shirts. 
Okay, speaking of, I'm going to solve this for y. Okay. Um, actually, take that back. I'm actually going to find my my y-intercept and then maybe my x-intercept. Okay. So since for our y-intercept we'll have x equals to zero, so we'll have 499y is less than or equal to 45. If we divide both sides by 499 we get y is less than or equal to 9.01, okay? Obviously, it's gonna be next to impossible to graph that 01. That's okay. I'm gonna come up here to nine and put a point there, okay? Then my x-intercept, okay? We have 1099x is less than or equal to 45 divided by 1099. Sure enough, X is less than or equal to 4.01. So that would be down here. Okay. Because it's strictly less than, it's going to be a solid line. So that means right here, because this is less than, this is our shaded region right here. Any point that's in that shaded region is good to go. What are two possible combinations of pants and shirts that you could buy? Okay. I mean, in theory, you could buy one pair of pants and one shirt. In theory, you could also buy two pairs of pants and two shirts. That would work too, because that also is in our shaded region. Okay. I know it's not easy, guys and gals. That's why we're continuing to work at it. I hope this helps. Talk to you soon. Peace.